years ago. A plan to clean up the Lafayette River in Norfolk was just that, a plan. Yep, but now work is underway to make the river safe for both swimming and fishing by 2014. Ten on your side's Art Khan shows us how the Coast Guard is playing a part. The Lafayette River has been suffering for years. You can still catch fish in the river, but you might not want to eat them. There's a lot of sickness from this water. Volunteers from the U.S. Coast Guard have traded their cutters for kayaks in an effort to make the river well again. As a fisherman, I can tell you, when you go out, you're never really sure what you're going to catch. The same thing is true on this expedition. In fact, the Coasties returned with all kinds of trash collected from the banks of the Lafayette. Pulled up a lot of wood, a lot of junk. There's uh, quite a bit out there. We have multiple boards and planks, barbed wire. We found uh, a TV, PVC piping. Uh, multiple tires, uh, kerosene can as you can see. Litter is not the only thing killing the river. The river is uh, particularly dirty in some areas from stormwater runoff. The project to restore the Lafayette River has three main goals. Reduce harmful bacteria, achieve healthy wildlife, encourage river stewardship. For Petty Officer Daniel Adams, the whole thing boils down to this. Just do your part, um, recycle your products, clean up after yourself. You ever think about how over the years one piece of litter turns into 1,000 pieces of litter? Yes, sir. <laughs> it, I mean, it'd be easier just to throw it in a trash can, but... But even after decades of neglect... We are very ambitious and very hopeful that we will reach this goal. No doubt much is at stake. In Norfolk, Art Con, 10 on your side. Well, Norfolk City officials are also working with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, the Hampton Road Sanitation District, and community organizations to clean up that river.